Hello friends, this video on basic concept of chemistry part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 18. If the density of methanol is 0.793 kg per liter, what is the volume needed for making 2.5 liter of its 0.25 m solid? So I have been told that the molarity of the solution is 0.25 m. Correct. I am asked what is the volume needed to make 2.5 liter of its 2.25 m solution. See, molarity is nothing but mole of uh, methanol by volume of solution. Volume of solution in liter. So m is my 0.25 right is equal to volume of methanol I have uh, mole of methanol I don't have so this is nothing but mole of methanol by volume of solution it is 2.5 L so my methanol is nothing but 2.5 into 0.25 mole this is my mole of methanol correct now I have to find this uh, methanol in terms of grams. So I know that methanol is C2H5OH. This is the formula of methanol I think. Sorry. CH3OH. This is the formula of methanol. Yeah. CH4 is methane. CH3OH is the formula of methanol. Correct. So molar mass of this will be, I will find the molar mass of methanol will come out to be carbon is 1. 1 into 12, hydrogen is 3 plus 1, 4, 4 into 1, oxygen is 1, so 1 into 16, right? It will be 32 grams per mole. That means 1 mole is equal to 32 gram of methanol. I have how many mole? I have 2.5 into 0.25. So 2.5 into 0 0.25 mole is nothing but 32 into 2.5 into 0.25 grams of methanol correct so this is my mass of methanol so I have asked volume of methanol in it so density is equal to mass by volume so density is how much or volume is nothing but mass by density what is the mass? Mass is this much gram that is 32 into 2.5 into 0.25 grams and density is 0.793 kg per liter. Kg per liter is something which is uh, this is in grams so I will make it into 20 to the power minus 3 this also becomes kg. Correct? So kg kg is fine I will get something in later. Hope you understand it. This guy was in grams. I can multiply this into 20 power 3. This becomes kg. This is also kg. So I'll get everything in later. Correct? So if you solve this, you get 25 point. You will get something called 0 0.0252 liter. And that's going to convert into milliliter as 25.22 milliliter. And that's fine. Correct. Not a big issue. Easy to solve. The only thing what we did is we, we had this molarity. We found the moles of methanol. From the mole of methanol, we found the grams of methanol. That means we have the mass of methanol. Density of the methanol was given. Mass was given. So we can find the volume of methanol. Correct. We have to find the pressure. Where the definition of pressure is given, pressure is nothing but force per unit area. And the SI unit of pressure is this much given. If the mass of air is this much gram per centimeter square, that means if you take 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter, this is not square actually, 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter area, the mass of air in this is this much gram. We have to find the pressure in Pascal. 
so i have force pressure is equal to force by area that is given to me right pressure is force by area correct and this this guy 1 pascal is newton per meter square correct and my area here is 1 cm square so since let me convert everything into meter square because here is meter here right so this is nothing but 1 by 100 square meter square because 1 cm into 1 cm that is 1 by 100 meter into 1 by 100 meter that is 10 to the power -4 meter square this is my area correct so mass is this so force is nothing but mass into gravity where mass is in kg so mass is 1034 grams so i'll convert this into kg by 10 to the power 3 into gravity g is 9.8 meter per second square meter per second square correct this will become kg so what you get here is see this was gram mass was gram i made this kg by 10 dividing by 10 to the power 3 this becomes kg this is g g universal gravity constant you should learn in physics 9.8 meter per second square right so this is what you get is my force correct i have to find pressure so pressure is equal to force by area what is the force this value that is 1034 into 9.8 into 10 to the power minus 3 this is my force by area area is 10 to the power minus 4 and if you see the units this guy was kg this guy is meter per second square and this is again my meter square correct so this is nothing but kg per meter per second square correct so if we solve this what you get is 1.01332 into 10 to the power 5 kg per meter this is what you get this is my pressure now i have to find this pressure in pascals i have found the pressure but this is my unit i have to find this in pascal correct so what i can do is this guy is nothing but actually newton per meter square because meter per second square into kg is newton so this guy is newton per meter square so i have told that 1 pascal is equal to 1 newton newton meter square right this is newton meter square i can write this guy as pascal only so this guy is 1.01332 newton to the power 5 pascal because both are same so this guy is nothing but if you see kg meter per second square i can divide meter meter both side right so meter per second square will become my uh, n So this becomes kg newton, and this becomes per meter square. So kg newton per meter square. So this guy, this into this becomes newton per meter square. So this is equal to Pascal itself. I just instead of writing this, I wrote Pascal. I hope I have not confused you. Force equal to pressure equal to force by area. I found the force first, m into g, right? Mass I made it into kg. G is 9.8 meter per second square. I got this force. Area was my one centimeter square. I made this into meter square because the I'm using the SI unit. So this becomes ten to the power minus four meter square. So pressure is equal to force by area. I found this value. This unit was kg per meter seconds per second square. So this is nothing but newton per meter square. And newton per meter square is nothing but my one pascal. So this is my. So the question says that drinking water was found to be contaminated with chloroform CaCl three. and the level of contamination was 15 ppm that is 15 part per million part right 15 part of chca3 per million 
part of water. This is what it means. Correct? By mass. By mass. Please know it is by mass. Correct? We have to find this percent by mass. So, expressing this in percent by mass is very easy because I am told that for every 1 million part of water, I have 50 part of CACL3. So, mass percent is very simple. Mass percent will be 15 by 1 million part into the bar 6 into 100 for percentage. It will come out to be 1.5 into bar minus 3 percent. This is mass percent of chloroform. Very simple. The second is we have to find the molality. Please note it's molality that is uh, mole of CACL3 by kg of solution. Correct. So let's take 1 kg of let's take 1 kg of solution. So 1 kg is how much? 1000 grams. So 1 kg of solution will contain how many how much uh, mass of chloroform? So 100 gram will contain 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 grams. So 100 gram will contain this. So 1000 grams will contain this into this. Correct? Logically. See 100 grams this much percentage. So 100 grams means this much. So 1000 grams is into 10. So I have 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams of chloroform. The only thing is I have to convert this guy into moles now. That's all. Right? Because I know my I have taken 1 kg. So that's not an issue for me. The only thing is I have to find the moles of CSCL3 when I have this much grams of CSCL3. Let's find the molar mass of CSCL3. Molar mass of CHCL3 will be carbon is 1, 12 into 1, hydrogen is 1, 1 into 1, chlorine is 3, 3 into 35.5. This comes out to be 119.5 gram per mole right so 1 gram is equal to 119.5 mole so i have this many grams 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 grams will be equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 2 into 119.5 moles this will come out to be 1.25 into 10 to the power 5 4 mole right this will be the uh, Concentration of C, uh, this will be the mole of chloroform in the 1 kg of water. So, molality is very simple, it is nothing but mole of CHCl3 by mass of water. So, here mass of water was 1 kg, it has to be in kg, and mole was 1.25 into 10 to the power 5, 4 mole. So, the answer will be small m is nothing but 1.25 into 10 to the power 5, 4 mole per kg and that is my answer that is my modality very simple i just took one kg of the solution and i have to find the number of moles of CSCL3 and thus i could find the molality of chloroform thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials Study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.